Okay, we're going to try partial products multiplication one more time. This time we're going to be multiplying two and three digit numbers by two digit numbers instead of by one digit number. This requires us to think of each of these factors in expanded form. So we're going to think of this 36 as 30 plus 6 and we're going to think of the 25 as 20 plus 5. And so these are the two things that we're really multiplying. We're multiplying 30 plus 6 times 20 plus 5. Now what we're going to do is in this first group we're going to take each of these numbers, the 30 and the 6, and we're going to multiply it by each of the numbers in this second group. So we're going to start with the 30. We're going to take the 30 and multiply it by the 20, and that gets us 600. We're going to take the 30 then, multiply it by the other number in that group. 30 times 5 is 150. We're going to take the 6 and multiply it by each of the numbers then too. So we'll have 6 times 20 and we'll have 6 times 5. We've been practicing this multiplication all week so that should be pretty easy for us. So then we're going to take all four of those products and we're going to add them up together. Our answer then is a lot easier to find. So we broke each into parts, multiplied those parts together, and then added up the products. Okay, we're going to look at that one more time with a different problem. This time we're going to do 54 times 62. Again, the, the first step is to think of each factor in expanded form. So 54, I'm not going to think of that as 54 anymore. We're going to think of that as 50 plus 4. 62, when we expand that out into tens and ones, becomes 60 plus 2. Now that I have broken each of these numbers into parts, I have to multiply all the parts together. And so I'm going to take both of the numbers from this group, the 50 and the 4, and multiply them each by both the 60 and the 2. That's the key, that each gets multiplied by both in the second group. So if I start with the 50, I'm going to do 50 times 60, and I'm going to do 50 times 2. Why? Because I'm going to multiply this 50 times both of these. 50 times 60 is 30 with two zeros on the end. 50 times 2 is 10 with one zero on the end. I'm going to now take the 4, multiply it by the 60, and multiply the 4 by the 2. Because I have to take this and multiply it by both of these. 4 times 60 24 with 1 0. 4 times 2 is 8. Now finally I'm going to add these products up and that addition is really simple. As long as I keep everything lined up, all my ones, my tens, my hundreds, my thousands place, everything lined up, I'm able to come up with an answer. So we break it into parts and multiply each of the parts together. Now we're going to go with a little bit more challenging of a problem here. We're going to go with a three digit times a two digit. And that's going to be a little bit more math, but the, the format is pretty much the same. So let's take a 221 times a 46. Again, I'm going to expand this 221, except now I have three add ends here. 200 plus 20 plus 1 is what that expands to. And I multiply that times 40 plus 6. 
so now there's just a little bit more steps here because I'm going to take each one of these three and multiply it by each of these. So I'm actually going to do that 200 times 40, and I'm going to do 200 times 6. Then I'm going to do 20 times 40, and 20 times 6. Then I'll finally do 1 times 40, and 1 times times 6. Two hundred times forty is going to be an eight. Count your zeros there. Two hundred times six is going to be a twelve with two zeros. Again we have to keep everything lined up here so that the adding is easy. If I get off track and don't keep them lined up then I'm going to make errors with my adding. Now I've got six numbers to add together this time, but again, i got lots of zeros. Very easy. Let's make sure we carry the one there. Two plus one. And I'm able to very simply find the answer to this problem, 10,130. So that's partial products multiplication. It's the same for each time. The keys, break it into parts, multiply each part of the first group, by each part of the second group, keep it all lined up and add it together. Should be able to get a hang of this really quick.